High School of Gordon, Georgia, December the 15th, 1977. In the music group, on the left-hand side from the state of Kentucky, we have a wonderful singer. His name is Wayne Lewis. Would you give him a hand, please? And we also represent the state of North Carolina with the bass man here from Asheville, a wonderful bass man, Randy Davis. Give Randy a hand. And from the state of Virginia right here is a hard-driving, five-string banjo picker, Butch Robbins. Give Butch a hand. And with the little fiddle from the state of Kentucky, the greatest fiddle in bluegrass music, Kenny Baker, make him up. And we have a guest with us. We have a guest with us tonight from uh, Sparta, Georgia. He's a good friend of the bluegrass boys. And we're really glad that he come over. He brought his fiddle along. He's going to fiddle some in a little while. His name is Alan Cheely. Would you make him up? Please? He runs Sparta, Georgia. Tells him what to do and... Keeps them all in line over there. Not just only his wife, but all the whole city there. You keep telling them what to do. All right, now we want to move along here, and I do hope you'll enjoy the show, and I'm sorry that not a lot of folks out for the show. But we're going to feature Wayne Lewis now. He does a wonderful job on the number and title, I Will Never Shed Another Tear. <laughs> Robin's on the five string banjo and he has a number picked out called the Bluegrass Breakdown. Thank you. 
I have a couple of solo numbers I'd like to do for you. And we've had some requests for a few numbers here tonight. We will try to get <coughs> to just a little later on. I believe that we will start with the Mule Skinner Blues for you. Tell her 
Kentucky Man and Rawhide and Monroe's Blues and and uh, what would you say? Thank you. 
The Bluegrass Quartet's going to sing for you now. And we want to do a, a couple of gospel songs. And one gentleman called for an old time entitled to set your fields on fire. But we're going to have to do another instead of that one. And the one we want to do to start with is entitled Crying Holy Unto the Lord. tonight. His father always loved Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys and had a lot of his albums and I believe that they buried him yesterday. This gentleman here has come over tonight, Wiley Bloodworth, I believe is his name, and we're really glad to have him here. I'd like to do this next number for you. Uh, it's a number that, that they really request up at the Grand Ole Opry. The people there at the station asked us to do this number many times, Precious Memories.
mother fly across the lonely years and old home scenes of my childhood in fond memory appear. Thank you so much. I think that's a wonderful song, and we hope you enjoyed the way that the Blue Grange Quartz had sung that. Since I started on the Grand Ole Opry in 1939, I've always kept a Blue Grange Quartet. And if I believe you, you'd check back a long ways on back, you'd see that they'd be just about as old a quartet as it would be singing today anywhere. And we do hope that you enjoy the Blue Grange style of a gospel singing, because I love it. Now it's time for Kenny Baker to fiddle. As soon as he gets through fiddling, he's got a buddy there that's going to join in with him. Joe Stewart's going to come out. We have another guest here tonight. He's going to come out and join in and fiddle and sing. We're going to have a good night here if you folks will just stay with us. Fine. And we want to call on Kenny now. And I haven't talked with him. I don't know what he really wants to play. He has some great numbers. And he, his albums is on sale over here. So, uh... They're going to do that just a little bit later. What are you going to fiddle this time, Kenny? Gray Eagle. This is an old-time fiddle number that I really love. It's entitled The Gray Eagle. Thank you very much, Kenny. That's fine fiddling there. Now we're going to call on a guest here now, Mr. Uh, Alan Cheeley. He's going to fiddle that Bonnie Park to Treat. And I think that Joe Steard should come on up here and fiddle with him. Joe, you mind? Joe plays a great second fiddle, and Kenny's had a little bit of trouble with his, well, his left hand, and it's just getting back in good shape. And he never was a good second fiddle. You never played second fiddle much, did you, Kenny? That's right. Kenny, uh, and, but uh, Kenny played first fiddle and Joe second. So get your fiddle, Joe, steered. Quit talking over and come on over here. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> All right, now, 
Get your place there, Mr. Cheeley, because he'll take it all up if you don't watch it there when he comes down for him to get the... Yeah, they're going to do two numbers. Now, if you want one of Kenny's albums, he's going out that way, and he'd be glad, glad to sign his name. He barely can do it, but he'll sign it for you. If you'd like to buy one, it's... Have they got some cakes on sale back in the bag? Yes, you have to buy tickets for them? Tickets. Well, be sure that you sell me one, because I'm a cake eater, man. I'd like to get in on that buying some of the... Five tickets for a dollar, I'll, I'll take one. Bring them up this way. <laughs> Bony person treat. Now, I really want you to put your mind on this number and your heart in it and play it to the folks. Elizabeth, thank you, Chief. Come on, girl. <laughs> Joe, get in there and help this gentleman here. Yes, you did. The Rocky Road to uh, Dublin, is that right? You did, It's not Rocky Road to, to Sparta, it's Dublin. That's what I'm doing, Dublin.
Thank you very much, Mr. Cheeley. That's fine. Thank you a lot. Mr. Cheeley sold Joe Stewart a, a truck today, and it's one of them uh, peanut trucks, you know, they haul peanuts in Georgia with. And... <laughs> Don't sit out there like you haven't heard about that now. You ain't gonna even laugh or nothing. It really tickles me. <laughs> Don't tell them what'll be hauled with that truck. And... I didn't call on you. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> Don't tell him what Joe Stewart will haul, it, haul it with when he gets to Tennessee. Come here a minute. He ain't going to do what now? He ain't about to say nothing about you. Well, okay, then you take he care of it. <laughs> you take care of it. All him. right, just about two just seconds. I just want to say just a few words about this gentleman here. I've been knowing, well, the whole band, I don't know how long. But I don't care where you go, you, you just won't meet this kind of people. I've been knowing him for a mighty long time. And now he didn't have to come down here tonight. He could make more money than this. But through the goodness of his heart, he come. And I appreciate it, and I think he deserves a good hand. All right, thank you very much. And the gentleman right over here now is an old-time fiddler, and he called for the number entitled Christmas Time is Coming. And we want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We hope you'll enjoy this number. We have it on one of our albums over there if you'd like to have it. Thank you very much. Here's one of the numbers we have in our new album entitled, She's Young and I'm Growing Old. But she 
that's in the album is entitled My Florida Sunshine. She's gone. I don't know. The Lord, I don't say too long of the world. Now she's gone, I don't worry 
this song about uh, a whole year and a half or so ago. <sighs> this is one of my favorite songs. I forgot one of the verses in it. When you get in the studio to do recording, you want to make it the best you can, sound that you can get, you know. Well, I had to stop and start all over. Missed a string or two on the guitar. I was used to playing it that way. Had it tuned down what the old timers used to call a double E tune. Well, I got, finally got it going pretty good and everything was working good. Even the tape machine was rolling the right speed. I got down in this part right here, took my breaks, wasn't it known for me and the guitar. Took all my breaks and sung all my verses. And to come to this one here, I forgot it. I forgot the words to it, and I didn't want to stop and start all over again. This actually happened. This ain't no truth. I know no lie, it's true. <laughs> yeah. It really did. It happened up in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. So I had to write me some words to it right quick. Now, Bill, this is new words. I hope you'd hear this since you started it out. I wrote these, I wrote these words out of my own head, and I had been enough wood left to cook supper with the next evening. Thank you so much. I appreciate your kindness. Once again, the man that started uh, bluegrass music, making a lot of people happy, and a lot of people has followed this man, his type of music. I'd say, happily say that he's the most copied man in the history of any kind of music. Let's make him feel good once again. The man that started it all in bluegrass music. Nice hand for Bill Monroe once again, would you?
a good many requests now. If you'd like to call out a few numbers, we'll try to get them for you. What is it? Rohan. Well, 
But give me the winter time when the snow is on the ground. For the thunder when the snow is on the ground. I traced a little footprints in the snow. I found a little footprints in the snow. Oh, Lord, I'm that happy day that many dogs threw away. For the thunder when the snow is on the ground. Didn't you see her? There was a big round moon. Her mother said she just stepped out, but if you return and soon, I found her little footprint and a trace in the snow, and I found her when the snow lay on the ground. I traced a little footprint in the snow. request for you to do Jerusalem Ridge. Do you mind doing that? Thought you'd never ask me. We've had a good many requests for you to do that. We get 50 cents for that.
coming up here that we sang at a lot of our festivals throughout the country and everybody joins in and sings with us and this being an old southern number i know you should know it down here that's one of those sweet chariots one of my favorite numbers and if you'd sing with me on the chorus i would really appreciate it then we're going to do i'll fly away and i saw the light and numbers like that right on down so we want you to sing with us on all the courses
Thank you very much. Uh, the boys want to say just a few words to you here tonight, and I think Wayne is the first man up. Thank you, Bill. You know, I heard some people a while ago complaining. Well, they wasn't complaining, but they made remarks that there wasn't a big audience here tonight. And I'll tell you, you've all been a wonderful audience. And if it had been about twice as many, we'd have raised the roof, that's for sure. This is my first trip. This is my first trip down in this part of Georgia. And I know it's not going to be the last. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and just tell you that we love every one of you. Thank you, Wayne. Randy Davis. I'd just like to say that it's uh, always nice to come back down in Georgia and uh, see some of the nice people that always come out to our show when we're in Georgia. And uh, thank you a lot for coming, and I hope to get to see you real soon again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Randy Butcher Robin. Uh, there goes the fiddle. Uh, thank you all for coming out and see us tonight. I hope we've done something along the line that you all enjoyed. We appreciate it. If you did, come back and see us the next time. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Thank you, Butch. Kenny Baker. Oh, well, after all these old Wendy boys get through talking, ain't much left for me to say, so I can say I enjoyed it, and Merry Christmas to you. Mr. Alan Chile. As usual, I always enjoy trying to play with Bill Monroe. I'm, I mean, it's an honor for me to just to try with him. I can't play with him. But I want to thank him for coming. I do wish we'd had a better crowd. But uh, maybe we'll do better next time. And appreciate everything. And Merry Christmas, all. I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And any time that we're in your part of the country, we'd be mighty glad to have you. If we're putting on a festival, well, I would like you to come and hear some, a lot of bluegrass music. If you're ever around the Nashville, come out to the Grand Ole Opry and be with us. We'd be glad to have you. I've been there 38 years on the Grand Ole Opry, and if I can ever help you, and if you're in Nashville and you need a ticket, if you'll get in touch with me, I'll do my best to get you some tickets on a Saturday night. I want to thank you a lot for being out. Thank you for buying the albums in the Grand Ole Opry book. All the albums, well, Kenny Baker, Butch Robinson, and uh, we want to thank Joe Stewart for being with us down here, Mr. Chill and everybody. All of you take good care of yourself, and I wish you the best. Merry Christmas to all of you. And now we're going to do the number title. You all come. Stay with us on the course. <laughs> Good night, Colin.